Hi, and welcome to Dr. Mix. Dr. Mix, baby! Here's the studio. I wanted to say, firstly, Merry Christmas. I hope you're staying super safe, wearing that mask, keeping social distance, and being a good boy and girl. So, let me tell you a little bit about the studio. This is the way it's looking now, and it's all pretty cool, but here's the problem. I want to have control of my sound here, but then use more than just three keyboards around me. And I quickly realized that these keyboard stands are not gonna cut. This one looks cool, but it takes way too much space and I cannot put anything on top of it. This is, uh, I mean, besides the kind of 90s look, which I think it's had its best time. Also, it's a little bit flimsy and I don't know, I don't really feel confident putting expensive synthesizers on this. So while I was having those thoughts, I received an email from Gunta, the inventor of the Black Panther system, and very kindly said, how can I help? I like the channel. I think you may need some of my stands. And I said, intrigue me. So he was super cool and sent me this many. Shall we unbox now? I'm loving this little guy. I don't know why I like my blade. I like this little blade. I'm gonna change the blade here. Yeah. Et voila. Start with this one. What's in here? Oh! A <laughs> chow! Thank you, BlackPanthersystem.de. Yeah, check that out! Although this video isn't sponsored by Black Panther System, I had this stuff for free. And for that, thank you, Gunta. Let's open it up. By the way, yes, I'm alone making these videos here because of COVID. Oh! Three, two, one, go! Wow! <laughs> Look how cool! By the way, did you know that I am a bit fixated with nulling? K-N-O-L-L-I-N-G Nulling Alright, this is like super finish <laughs> Alright, this camera is too heavy I'm just gonna put it here And read some instructions Okay That's pretty straightforward Uh huh Yeah, there you go, that's it Yep Yep. I think I know how to do it. Ah, these two bits. I see. This is well machined. Look at it. Guys, by the way, I have to apologize for the focus. I'm alone here. But look at this, guys. You can tell by the sound, right? And then you got the angles for the first tier. So basically you put this one in, then you put a hair. If you want this to be angled like this, you can, or you can have it more angled back like that. This is very ingenious. If I mess up, I don't care because I'm having too much fun. Oh, I have to put the other one as well. Hold on, yeah, yeah. All right. The other one, yes, we need two of them. This is gonna go backwards on the mirror image. Yes, done. Next. Let's go up to the next floor. It's like a gold post. So then we have these two, which are same dimensions. While I do this, you know, I'm thinking, okay, this is solid enough that I could put this thing on. Just even the supports and the stands dictate the way I'm gonna have my set. Because, you know, I want to be comfortable and I also want to be sure that my synths are not in danger. When you're there, you're playing, you're rocking, you know, you might hit the stand and you don't want it to collapse with an expensive vintage synth on it. Yeah, this is my excuse. <laughs> this is like the best time that I have, you know, when I have managed to maybe do a little bit of the much work that I have to do every day and then maybe at the end of the day I get two, three hours, four hours silence. 
uh, phone is not ringing. I have some of my favorite YouTubers in the background. You know the score. And I just go on, experiment, have ideas. <sighs> Woo! I can actually lift it. Oh, my legs! Oh, yeah, this is looking good. Come on, final stretch. So the last bit, which is pretty much exactly the same as before. Oh, I see, because it can go flush. Good, because, you know, sometimes the very last synthesizer can take a little bit more space. And if the top is flush, then you can fit more stuff and more securely. Let's see if that's the case. Right, now this bit right here, this is to hang right here, bone, like this, and you can fit sockets, except these are German sockets. So I was lucky enough that I have a UK socket, and look at it, it's the same size, look. The only difference is that Mine has this, you know, protruding piece of cable, whilst this is more cleverly not on the side. But what it can do is put a strip of wood and maybe use this longer screws. And then I can, do you know what I mean? Let's cut some wood here. Computer, turn hallway on. Right? Because I have some wood left, oh, by the way, this is the entrance now. Look at it. <laughs> That's for my vinyl. Right there, right there, right there. Yeah. It'll look very good at some point. Anywho, here's my scrap wood. This one will do. Perfect. That should do. Right. So, first, let's put this one on. Like that. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I have to put this on the other side. Done. I'm not sure I'm supposed to mount it like that, but you know, I'm gonna customize it to my needs because after all, it is modular. Same here. Now we got room for expression. Now we got this guy, which is attached to this guy. Yeah, just about. Let's see, maybe I should put it the other way around. Yeah. That looks more like it. So if I put this right here, yeah, then my screws are going to go all the way back there. Perfect. Okay, we'll go with that plan. Some washers, obviously. First screw, second screw. Yes, a piece of wood. So all I need to do is to pull out my set of colorful keys yellow one <sighs> see the right tool saves me from headache <laughs> gorgeous fit it's finished it's finished i think i just put this right there and i think to fix them with what with this ones maybe in any case i think i will uh, keep on doing this uh, in the morning day two mm, it's the morning after let's make the other one Right! Ooh, this is a tray. This goes here. Oh, I see. All right, this will come in handy. Let's check the last parcel. Oh, that's really good. On this, I can put all of my pedals, all my bits and balls, my toys. Cool! So, I guess it's time to make some arrangements here. <laughs> Definitely one of them should go here. Replace this 90s looking thing. And then maybe I could move this here. So then I would have a three tier with the Prophet, maybe MS-10, 
and another one. And here I could have the roads with the mug on it. I think that that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> this mug you can buy, there's a link in the description. And when you buy it, you support this channel. It's got the magic colors. Magic. Right, let's move the studio around. You designated to a different room. Because this thing is really, really cool. Because it folds. And this is the only stand I could travel with. Sometimes you would have to do like local gigs that didn't have a stand. So you would bring one of these around. This thing has flown with me. I have gone to Amsterdam to play with this one. And uh, you know, it's pretty clever because you can close it like that, yeah? It's just a bit too bulky for the studio. It's too flimsy, you know? It's not, I need something solid. So this goes back in the storage. <laughs> This one, let's disconnect this guy, disconnect that. Bing, boom, bam. This is done, very gently. Uh, so this guy, maybe if I need some extra, maybe I might use it again. Otherwise, I think this is storage material. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> this thing is sturdy. That's what friends are for. Oh yeah, definitely. Right, a little bit higher, a little bit higher, 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 yep, boom, 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 yeah, that's pretty good height. You, come here, uh, I'm gonna handle you this way, yep, oh, man, you're heavy, Ugh. hmm, there's a screw, I'm gonna have to inspect soon, <laughs> good, so how about... I have the profit here, I'm feeling like... <sighs> How about this one? Huh? What do you think? Hydrosynth? Profit Hydrosynth? Yeah, come on, I have to put the cork on top of this. Is that it? Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, oh look, I've got a polarizing filter. I can decide the amount of reflected light. Makes it look cool. Man, this thing can hold, see, see, I hit them and it doesn't wobble. <laughs> yeah. So then I would say, I want to have a bit of variation. I've got some pads, synths, some solo. Here I can have some bass, here's some harmony. And probably this is a uh, repetition. So I am going to put my vocoder on it instead. So VP550, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now let's bring that into position. Remove this one. We have to pull this back. Maybe like that, bit by bit. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Definitely. So all around me, I can control how many bass, synths, solos and stuff, drums, volumes, effects and everything. Yeah, I think we got lift off. Let's finish that corner. This design is an old time great because it's quick, easy, doesn't take too much space, great design, but you can only hold one keyboard on this and it doesn't look so sexy. Right. Yes. Right. Now we're talking. Yeah, baby. Last but not least. Yeah! Yeah, baby. We're nearly there. We made it. We made it. And victory. Yes. Look, I think it's only fair if I now do a little time lapse of me connecting every keyboard and do a final jam. Come on. Time-lapse break, I've taken this decision that I want to use the RC505 looper just in this position rather than down here because I really need to have it ready. You know, I'm doing a bass line, bang. I mean, yeah, of course I can use the pedal, but you know, I wanted to have it close, at range. I have used one of those Black Panther trays 
which turns out to be quite useful. I had to cut a couple of pieces of wood, yeah, because there's no such a thing as life without compromise. So I've connected this, this and this, and I can already do this. <laughs> More time lapse. Oh yeah! I have connected everything! You wanna check it out? <laughs> check it out! I've got this! Oh. I'll play something. something with drums now yes what have I got here 105 I think I've prepared a little groove earlier it goes something like this
All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit different. I think you should check out Black Panther System. They've been very kind. Thank you, Gunter. I'm just making videos, you know, for this festive season. I'm just keeping on making videos, you know? I just wish you the best. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <sighs> yeah. Lots of love. Oh, also you should check out this video right after. <laughs> just about now. Dr. Mix.